We have something really fun in this episode. In this episode, we are going to build the Wheel of Fortune guessing game. And so we're going to use regular expressions, but I wanted to use this as an exercise to show you that regular expressions are not always what you want to use when it comes to a matcher. In fact, there's a lot of other methods in Ruby that are better fits in certain cases. So in this one, we're going to use two different matchers so you can see when to use one and when to use the other one. So to start out, I'm going to create a variable called our starting sentence. And I'm going to say hi from matching land. And this is going to be the sentence. This could be anything, but this is going to be the sentence. Uh, just kind of like if you're playing Wheel of Fortune and you have to guess what the sentence is, this is going to be what ours is. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sentence array. And this sentence array is going to be the starting sentence. And we're going to split the values into an array. And then from there, I'm going to uh, map these and cast them all to down case. So the reason for this is uh, because of how we're going to do a different kind of matching that is going to be uh, case sensitive. And so we want to pass these to down case to fix that. OK, now I need to get a count of the all the letters in the array minus the uh, the empty spaces. So if you can think of right here, we have all of our values. Um, so we have our high from matching land, but we have some empty spaces in here and we have to make sure that these get removed from the array count or else it'll throw our array count off. So uh, and you'll uh, I'll show you in a little bit why uh, why that would be a really bad thing. Okay, so a cool way of removing empty spaces from an array is you can just use uh, the minus operator and subtract it. So I can do this and now this is going to subtract all the empty spaces here and then uh, we'll be able to run a count method on all of this and that will be a, a great way of being able to get an accurate count. And that's why I called the variable accurate count. So it's a count of all the space or all of the letters minus the spaces. And then I'm going to create a final sentence variable. And this is where we're going to put our regular expression. So I'm going to say starting sentence and then we're going to use the g sub method and this if you remember back to an earlier episode this stands for global substitution and we can pass g sub a regular expression and in this case i just want to pass it all letters a to z and i want to pass capital letters and lowercase letters and that's the first argument. And then the second argument, if you remember, is what we want the substitution to be. And so you'll see what this does in a second. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, so and then I'm going to call split. And the split is going to uh, convert this final sentence into an array and also you know, remove all the empty spaces and everything like that. OK, so now I'm going to create a while loop. And this is one of the very rare cases that I would use while in Ruby, but this one, it fits perfectly. So I say while the sentence array count is uh, is whatever it is, uh, is less than the accurate counts count value. And we'll go through all this in even more detail as it runs. Um, but what I'm essentially looking for right here, if you look at our sentence array, what it's going to do is I'm going to start uh, removing values every time the correct value is guessed. So say we have our sentence up here. If I guess an L, I'm going to remove this L, but I'm not going to delete the element from the array. I'm just going to turn this element into an empty string. And so you'll have, uh, if you want to visualize it, if you have an array right here, 
each one to start off each one of these elements is going to be or each one of these letters is going to be an element in the array etc cetera, etc cetera. when a correct letter is guessed i'm going to remove this and turn it into an empty string so what i'm looking for with this uh with this count let me fix our string here um what i'm looking for with this count you can pass count an argument and here i'm going to say bring me back all of the count of the empty strings so if i have a zero or uh, let's see one two three four all the way down however many this is keep looping until this number is less than the uh, i misspelled this this should be accurate well the uh, is less than the accurate count so what we're essentially looking at is to make it very simple say that we have our sentence right here and okay so this is our sentence as we are guessing we're going to be removing items from the array and then eventually this is all we're going to have if you guess all the letters right is a set of empty elements and so we want the while loop when it gets to that point we want the while loop to stop so it, this may look a little bit complex but all it's saying is keep looping until all of the elements inside of the array are empty so that that's all it is just kind of like if you're playing wheel of fortune just say we're going to keep on playing till you've guessed all the letters okay so here we're going to put some output and say guess a letter and then i'm going to create a variable called guess and then uh if you remember how we get items from the terminal we're going to say gets down case uh, to help us with uh, uh, with case insensitivity and then chomp to remove the end of line character okay so I'm getting that and now I'm gonna put a conditional in so I'm gonna say if the sentence array include the guess so this is where I'm showing you two different matches matchers right up here we have g sub which uses regular expressions this works really well for strings but now include is what we're wanting to do when we're trying to find the values in an array so these are two different things they both have some similar functionality but uh, at the end of the day you want to use the right tool for the right job and in this case when we're iterating over an array or checking through an array I want to use include and I can pass a regular string value there and it'll check it against all the values in the array here when I'm wanting to do a matcher for the string this is where I pass in my regular expression so I'm going to create uh, conditional and say if the sentence array includes the guess so in other words if I guess the right letter then I want to first find where that letter is so I'm going to say uh, letter index equals the sentence array and then I'm going to pass an array method here called find index and grab the guess and all this is doing is it's passing in whatever the value is so when it, i say hi for matching land uh if i guess guess well let me grab the i value if i guess the i it's going to say look through the array and say okay that i is at the uh the index of one because we start with a zero index so h is zero I is one so it's going to pass the one value the integer value to the letter index and you'll see how I'm going to use that here shortly so now I go to the sentence array and I'm going to pass in 
this letter index. Because if you remember when we talked about manipulating arrays, editing them, adding to them, deleting to them, uh, deleting from them, or updating them, uh, this is how you would grab that specific value. So I want to find my sentence array, grab the value at whatever I guessed, and I'm going to set that equal to an empty string. So that is how I'm going to uh, go through it and uh, clear out all of the values uh, when an item's guessed correctly. Now I'm also going to grab this final sentence and say I'm going to pass the same letter index to it and I'm going to set that equal to the guess. So I'll show you what this is doing here in a second. And then I'm going to say puts correct and say the sentence is now and then do some string interpolation and say oops, final sentence dot join which is going to take our array and turn it back into a string and then say else puts sorry that letter isn't the right answer please try again Okay, I think I did everything right here. Uh, let me come and run this. This is called our regex game. So Ruby, regex, regex game, return, uh, undefined method. Okay, so I made one mistake in this. This is checking the minus for high from matching land string. Okay, let's see. What did I do wrong here? Oh. Oh, duh. Okay, that was a stupid one. Uh, right here, I tried to remove a, an array element from a string. Uh, that doesn't, that wouldn't make any sense. Okay, let me, I believe that should be working now. Okay, there we go. Guess a letter. So let's guess a letter A. And it says correct. The sentence is now, and you can see right here that our sentence I got replaced by to start off a series of underscores so i'll show you how i did that and that is all what we did with our regular expressions i took the starting sentence substituted every spot where there was a letter from a to z or a to z capital or uh or lowercase and then I passed in a underscore to replace it so starting off it it, uh, it b before we guess the correct answer a would have also been an underscore so how did a know where to go that's also really cool so when we grabbed the guess and the guess came in here when we ran include on it it found the a value so it returned true now this a value got passed into the find index method and this got stored in the letter index in our sentence array right here we said okay wherever that letter was found now put an empty string there and then in our final sentence it says wherever a was found swap out that instead of having the underscore have whatever the guess was placed in that right area and, and then we say correct and the sentence is now and we print out the sentence and join it so it's a string okay now guess another letter so i'm gonna say r and it says correct the sentence is now here so it's kind of like plain will fortune or hangman or anything like that and now let's guess another letter i'm going to do h but i'm going to do a lowercase h and you can see that it put it in the right spot even though in our sentence i had this as uppercase so i'm just going to go through type in l now what if i did a z sorry that letter isn't the right answer please try again I'll do an o you can see it's filling it in and it's filling it in in all of the right spots which is pretty cool and i can just keep on going down and 
It, I checked T again. It saw that T was a duplicate and there's not another T available. So it said that isn't the right answer. And we're almost there. And last one, and we'll see if our conditional worked on the wow. And there you go, and it ended. So this all worked perfectly. You can see, correct? The sentence is now high from matching land, which is right here. So this all worked exactly the way we wanted. Um, so hopefully you could see through that, and hopefully that was fun, and that it all made sense to you. Uh, I would definitely play around with this code. Uh, this one took me a little while to uh, to get perfect and to run exactly the way I wanted it to. I wanted to show you the difference between uh, how you use a matcher on an array element on a collection like uh, like we did here, and also uh, the right spot to use a regular expression because sometimes. I know that can get a little bit confusing, especially if you're new to programming or you're new to Ruby. So I want to show you those two differences in the same thing, and then also show you how cool it is to manipulate arrays. You can see right here that we had two different array elements, and we we're able to, uh, to create completely different behavior in them simultaneously pretty much where we were able to take one array that we we're clearing out and another array where we were actually swapping out values to finish it out and to give what our final sentence ended up being so hopefully you had a lot of fun doing that i know that was a really fun one for me to build out and uh, i think it's something that uh, they could play around with and um, you extend and make even more exciting you could do things like random letters and uh, you could you could this this could be dynamic you don't have to hard code what the sentence is. You could have one person who types a sentence in and someone else who has to guess the letters and make it a hangman type game. So uh, I really enjoyed it. This is a fun section. Regular expressions can seem really confusing in the beginning, but hopefully I showed you they're really practical and there's plenty of tools out there, so they shouldn't be too intimidating for you. You can definitely uh, you can definitely leverage those tools like Rubular and some of the built-in things that Ruby has in order to give your application some really efficient string matching and, uh, and be able to create custom validators and things like that in your real-life applications.